Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel today. I wanted to show y'all some of my favorite loose powders. A lot of these loose powders that I use are some that I talk about a lot on my channel and some I don't talk about at all. And the powders that I'm showing y'all today are gonna range from high end to luxury brand. But anyway, let's just get right in. The first powder I wanted to show y'all is my Lancome No Shine uh, Loose Powder. And I have the shade Medium Deep. What I really like about this powder is that um, this shade, I don't know, this powder, like the shade of it, it matches my complexion perfectly. Some loose powders I've tried um, that are deep be a little bit too dark or they just look too chalky. And this one is just like perfect. So if you're around my complexion, you could use this as an all over face powder. You could use it as an under eye powder. I just love it. And if you watch any of my many, many foundation reviews, the powder that I always set my primer with is this one. Um, they have a translucent shade. I never um, tried it. I always just use this one. And I've actually had this for a while. And as you can see, I still have a lot of product left. Like I really like this powder this is definitely a mattifying powder and when they say no shine lancome really mean no shine with this powder i don't know why i don't see a lot of people on youtube talking about this powder because it is really good like this is a a damn good face this powder i'm going to show y'all is from fenty beauty and if you're familiar with my channel you know that i am not a fenty fan i just don't like fenty <laughs> like that not saying it's a bad brand it's just i don't know i just don't gravitate toward Fenty products but this is one that I actually do like a lot um this is the uh, Fenty setting powder as you see I've used quite a bit of this powder one time I was using this all the time oh and I have the shade honey let me show y'all what it looks like and to me this is just a little bit deeper than a banana powder and i like to use this as an under eye powder for my uh, concealer and sometimes i'll use it as an all over powder it really depends and what i also love about this powder oops, getting everywhere is that you get almost an ounce of powder in this so you definitely get your money's worth with this and um with fenty as you all may know she has quite a bit of shades of this so it's not just like a translucent um banana and deep i think it's like a good nine or ten i don't really know but i've had this um shade honey for a while and it lasts a long time because like i said you get a lot of product in here in this um container but um they got this listed as a mattifying powder do i think this is like a super mattifying powder no it's a good powder but for me it don't really uh wear as matte i still end up getting some shine but i do like how um, my face look whenever I use it. It really gives you like a filter, a photo filter look. The next powder that I'm showing y'all, and I don't talk about this powder a lot on my channel just because it is so hard to get and it is the YSL uh, Souffle Declot Powder. I have the shade two. Um, I want to get the shade three. I probably am eventually, just right, not right now. To get this powder, you will have to order it off Harrods. And if you order, um, as you know, makeup internationally, you're going to pay that international shipping cost. I don't know if you want to pay that because that could be kind of pricey. I think I paid $30 in shipping for this. I don't use this all the time just because it's so hard to get in the shipping cost. Like, I just don't run through this powder as much as I do other ones. Um, I have this powder on today. I mainly use this as a under eye powder because of the simple fact I have shade two and it's a little bit too light but I make it work. This is not a mattifying powder. So I think someone with um, normal, dry, even oily would like this powder. Um, this powder gives you kind of like a radiant look, but it's not too like shiny or you won't end up looking oily because y'all know I do not like shine on my face at all. And sometimes I feel like radiant products kind of walk the line of radiant and you end up looking greasy. This does not do that. Do that. This just gives you like a nice glow, like a nice little glow to the skin. I mainly use it underneath my eye or I'll use it in certain areas where I kind of want to highlight it look because y'all know I'm not huge. I'm not a big highlighter person, but I do, like I said, use this in certain areas where I kind of want like a little glow. This gives you like a natural, like a glow within type of look. Also, I just thought about it. You can find this powder on Overstock sometimes and you can find it with on uh, Gilt. And it's another site, I can't think of it, but I always see this on Overstock. 
guilt i'm not really too sure i think overstock have a few shades because this does come in four shades i've only usually when i see this powder like online i only typically see like shade one two and three i rarely see four but if you are of um a little bit deeper than me you could get four and it probably will work well for you but if you're like close to my skin tone i think three will be the best um shade i really want to get my hands on it but not right now but this is a really really good powder, powder i'm going to show y'all and i talked about this powder a lot it is the chanel loose powder i feel like everybody named mama got this now i have the shade 40 which is translucent three i am eventually going to go get a lighter shade to use just under my eye for a brighter look i can use this as a under eye powder and i can use this as an all over face powder but on my complexion it doesn't give me like a highlighted look so that's why i said eventually i am going to get um shade 30. this gives you such a flawless look and it is matte like this is one of the best mattifying powders i know i've heard a lot of people say that um the original um chanel powder i don't know which formulation this one is the original or the newer one but i heard that the newer the newer one is not as good as the original i don't know so i'm just letting y'all know so do not ask me which one i think is better because i don't know which formulation i got but i do like this like this will really give your face a matte flawless look this can be a little bit too drying i really don't think someone with like super dry skin would like this because i feel like sometimes this could really like dr just be a little too drying so be wary of that oh and this comes in eight shades i believe the next loose powder i'm going to show y'all y'all probably already know because i've talked about it on my channel like non-stop it is the Givenchy prism powder as you can see i have used and abused this powder i only have like the orange color corrector shade left what i like about this particular setting powder you get four different shades and they all do something different one is to color correct one is to mattify and mattify and one is to blur i like to use all the shades together because trying to use just one shade by itself it is a nightmare you're going to get powder everywhere it just get messy so whenever i use it i always just sprinkle whatever's out and i use what's in the top lately being that i only have the orange shade left which is the color corrector shade i do not like using it on its own i've noticed that on me um when i use it it makes my foundation turn orange when my foundation oxidizes a little bit so i really don't care for using the orange shade by itself i recently just picked up another one because like i said i love this powder it does retail for 58 dollars only downside with this besides the messiness you don't get a lot of product you only get uh zero sorry 0.42 ounces of product the rest of the um powders that i showed y'all you get a half an ounce or you even get exactly one ounce the chanel powder you get exactly one ounce 50 you get damn near close to an ounce this one you get less product and it is the same price point as the other ones um, I just love this powder, so I don't really care about the price point or the little bit amount of powder you get. I know some people care about that. For me, I don't care because I just love it so much. I feel like all skin types would like this powder. It does keep your face matte, but it's not like too mattifying to the point where it dries out your skin. It's just, it's perfect. On my skin type, I am very, very oily. Like this just gets the job. I like this powder a lot. Not always tell everybody to go get it. I feel like if you like the chanel loose powder you're gonna love this like this is just a really good powder and like i said you get four different shades that do something totally different but i don't wear mines like that where i just use like one shade for under eye one shade for color correct i use them all okay y'all that is it those are all my favorite loose powders that i love to use if you have any uh loose powders that you think i would like definitely leave them below in the comment section if you have any questions about any of these powders that i did not answer in this video you definitely can ask me um, get to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye